and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about how to enable custom orders, private listings, and also talking a little bit more firstly about why it's a good idea to have these if you can, um, and you know how to grow your business through this whole custom order option that Etsy offers. So the very first thing is let's talk about why custom orders and private listings are a great idea. Well, first of all, who doesn't love to get something bespoke made exclusively for themselves? Like who doesn't love to walk into a perfumery and have like a custom scent made for them? Or maybe you walk into somewhere like Monica Veneda where they actually engrave and create a piece exclusively for you. Or maybe you like to go into a bathware shop Shop and get a bath bomb made exclusively for your tastes. I really feel like the customer order option has this kind of exclusivity behind it where you are made to feel like a special customer, someone who is getting the full attention of the maker. So that's kind of point number one. Point number two is actually if you want to grow the wholesale side of your business, it's actually a really fun thing to have this requesting a custom order option available because if people want to stock your items or maybe they want to order in bulk for corporate gifts or wedding gifts or something along those lines, it's really good to have that option enabled. So now let's talk a little bit more about how to actually enable this option within your Etsy shop. And I do have some notes here, so I'm going to be glancing down. So to enable custom order requests by literally the horse's mouth, what Etsy has said. So step one, you go to the shop manager icon, step Step two, you go to the settings option. Step three, you go to options. Step four, select enable under the custom order requests tab. Step five, simply click save. And basically what this will mean, and I'll put a little screenshot up, is that the minute you click save, is that there's gonna be a nice little request custom order badge that comes up on the homepage of your shop. So when people actually click this button, they'll basically see like a little message window where they can put a little bit more info about what they're after, the date they need it by, and all that kind of stuff. So what that will do is that that will mean that that request will go in a dedicated message folder and that will be called custom requests. You should still see it in your inbox, but it will just be in its own nice, neat little folder. And if you want to create labels here as well, like names, pieces, anything like that, then this is your uh, chance to actually do that and pop it into a nice, neat little folder. Then once you've had some back and forth about pricing, options, lead time, actually what the customer wants, then you will have a little create private listing button within the message message window. So, so it's just so easy to just create a private listing the minute you've worked everything out. And what this means is that this listing won't be visible to others. So it's just like a really nice, easy way to pop a listing on your shop without the fear of someone else buying it and then having like the whole headache of re-refunds, messages, all that kind of thing. The great thing about this is, is that once you publish that particular listing, uh, the person who requested it will get a nice, neat little email in their inbox inbox with a nice link to just say, hey, such and such has created a private listing for you. Now's your chance to come and buy it. Now, the other option is, is that you can reserve an existing listing. So if this fits in more with what your buyer wants, how you want your shop to run, then you can reserve or set aside items in your shop at any given time. And the instructions from Etsy to do this is, step one, put reserved buyer's name or piece or something like that, a name that you can identify who it's for at the beginning of the listing title. The next step is to upload a photo that clearly says reserved so that people know not to buy that particular listing. Step three is to send that listing link in the messages that you've been back and forth on and just reminding them that, hey, the listing's here when you're ready to buy. So that is a step-by-step -step on how to actually set listings up. Now, one thing that I will say is that I would always request full payment upfront or at least a pretty hefty deposit of say 60 
to 80%. You don't want to start making something, spend money on material supplies without having some kind of financial contribution towards it. I think it's common sense just to make sure that you have all of your bases covered. I would also say as well, not to send the item or release any pictures of it, especially if it's like artwork or anything like that that can be screenshotted, copied, printed. Don't send anything until you have full payment. This includes posting anything out and just make sure that communication is back and forth every step of the way. If you are taking six to eight weeks to do this thing, and then two, three weeks in, the person starts ghosting you. You wanna make sure that as a business owner, you are covered. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this quick little video talking all about custom orders. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that this video can be found by more people who want to know about custom orders and subscribe as well for weekly Etsy and handmade business tips and tricks. But for now, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Bye, everybody.